Hello everyone. So, we are doing what I promised would never happen. We are doing another Melissa Schumann video. Who remembers Melissa Schumann? I do. You want to know why? Because the bitch won't shut up. That's why I remember her. Oh boy. So, like, I don't know where to start, but a lot of crap has happened. And you know what? It's been over six months that the Melissa Schumann, I was raped by Nick Carter, I swear to God, 15 years ago, I swear happened. It's been six months. And it's just been a shit show the whole time. And at this point, I just like, I've been kind of done with it for a while. But I mean, like, so much stuff has unfolded just in the past month that from my last video, I remember I'll, that probably got the most views because I got very, very upset. Um, I should probably explain that last video before I get into anything. Um, so tune into that last video that I, when I said Melissa Schumann is done, is over. Okay, I was led to believe which it's not a bad thing that Nick Carter and his wife were going to come forward with something. I think I jumped the gun a little too quick by coming out with that video. And I remember within about five days after, I said, maybe I should delete that. But one thing I like is the fact that I only do the video once and I put it out there and it's just total honesty and then, you know, it's done and I get it over with. What I said in the last video was the absolute truth. Any information that I kind of put out there is factual. It's not going to be BS. And I don't like rumors. And there's a lot of rumors and, you know, like I could talk about... Melissa's stepsister contacting me. I could talk about the dancers that danced with Brandon. I could talk about all that stuff, but I just don't want to. And I just don't want to splice in screenshots. I just don't want to go there. That's what the blogs were for. And those blogs were pretty dead on accurate. And they were very, I believe, unbiased with Nick and Melissa, and that's what I liked about the girl that made those blogs. I did not make the blogs. So, in that last video with, you know, what I said about them coming forward, I remember thinking, I'm not too sure that they should just come out and, you know, bring it back up again because they're just gonna be opening this whole new Pandora's box again to where people have already forgotten about it and the thing is, is there was a lot of information between blogs videos and a lot of people on the internet and her losing followers and things like that that were suggesting that not a lot of people believed her story and i do know that his side too uh not his side too uh the me too movement they actually did want nothing to do with her and according to some insiders, all her stuff with the Time's Up and the Me Too and stuff like that, she wasn't getting many retweets from um, anyone of importance. Just, you know, her little fans, you know, all, you know, a whole dozen, you know. If she got any likes, it was from maybe a dozen of her tweets, okay. James Hartland, on the other hand, he gets no treat. He gets no tweet. He gets no likes or retweets on anything. This poor guy, and he is just like always trapped in the middle with, you know, being in this web that Melissa and and Brandon have put him in. And we 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 do feel bad for James Hartline, but I'll get into him a little bit later. Like I said, she lost followers and she really didn't gain YouTube subscribers except for spies. And anyone that, she blocked everyone. You do know that. Even people, 
if they even asked a question, if they said anything, she automatically blocked them. Now, I know for a fact that's not how Kim Kardashian and, you know, Kanye West and, and people that are very successful use social media. Like I was told when I started doing reality television was um, you need haters. You need negativity out there. And that's, that's the way that gets you the notoriety. That's, how, that's what gets you the attention and you just need it. You just need it. You just, I just don't understand how Melissa Schumann never got media training. That I don't understand. She must not be represented. She must not have an agent. That's funny how her dad is called the agent. Well, if that's your agent, you better f cut ties with that agent because he's uh, doing you, uh, he's not doing you uh, a solid at all. And uh, his, it's funny because it's like a laughing joke because Jerry's kids, and um, we barely, I don't, <laughs> Melissa, friends and family are embarrassed about you and have reached out to us and told us things that we're not even comfortable repeating. So you should have stopped this a long time ago. People at your church, things like that, like, there's people out there and I've tried to be nice and set myself back and not be a total and complete biatch. And like people that are closely around you have been like, please don't say that I, you know, that you heard this from me. Please blah, 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 blah. And let me tell you something. We know where you get your hair done. We know about your little nail tech stuff. We know it all. But it's of unimportance. We just wanted the truth to come out. Because what you did to Nick Carter was really, really bad. And I know at this point, after everything that's happened to you in six months, I know you regret saying something now. Don't tell me that you found strength. What did you gain? Oh, Kaya talks to you on Twitter. Have you met her? No. You got a verified Twitter? Okay, but now that you have a verified Twitter, you can't claim that you didn't say something, that you didn't do something, but you have an extra Twitter. Your Lissa Melissa one. Like, do you think that people are stupid? This is my problem with you, and this is why I always get upset thinking about you. This is why people don't like you, is because you're so fake. You're such a phony, and you're full of it. And you think that you're like this great scam artist, but you're not because you keep getting caught. And let me tell you something, girlfriend. You are doing life all wrong. And I can say that because actually I'm a life coach. I know you didn't know that, but I am, okay? And I'm not even technically supposed to tell anybody that anyone's doing life wrong like that is totally frowned upon but i'm gonna say it to you loud and clear over the internet so that the world can hear it you are doing life wrong okay and you know what i can say that because i'm sitting in a five star five diamond resort in bangkok okay <laughs> and you're sitting on your couch rubbing your cooch on your own you know on your own accord twittering away all day long all day long that's your life that and walking your little dog and complaining about how you're owed this and that and this and that fighting with your freaking husband oh do you oh do we need to get videos of screaming outside your place oh how about that house how about that house um that we checked out yeah was it oceanside Wow. So it turns out that Melissa and Brandon did a short sale on a property. Yeah, my husband uh, also is a real estate broker in California who I asked him to look up a address and he's like, why? And I said, find out what happened with this house. And he was just like, oh no, it was purchased by this woman and blah, 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 blah. Well, I did some background check stuff 
And yeah, they went underwater and that's why they are living in this little two bedroom place in ghetto town, Long Beach. And I don't know if visitors are coming by still and watching you walk your little dog and leave with your little son, but they see Brandon coming in and out. I mean, we know these things about you and I'm not going to your house. I don't know anything about that, but it just gets back to us. Now, when I say you're doing life wrong, I just mean like when your story keeps changing, girlfriend, like seven times, do we have to get into that? The white story keeps changing seven times and then you go on this, like you want to be some sort of savior for these women who should come forward. You have no proof. You have no real evidence. No one wants to stick out their neck for you because it's a crime to falsely accuse a man of raping you 15 years ago. You had the chance, okay? We all know, okay, what happened, okay? Now you saying Nick had to, you know, Nick took a shot, blah, 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 blah. Okay, he took one shot. He wasn't inebriated and he gave you a shot. What did you think was gonna happen? What did you think was gonna happen when you willingly went into another room with Nick Carter? You went to his apartment with another girl when you knew that the, his friend was there. Oh, and we all have the texts. We all have the texts of you reaching out to his, you know, friend that was at the place, hoping that he would vouch for you and say that he was sleeping on the floor. Like, those texts were sent to us months and months ago. I mean, you kept, you gave your own self the Kate Spade scarf to hang yourself. Like, that's what you did. Like, you hung yourself. And you ended up getting your husband in trouble for it, too. Because he looks like a jerk. And then what do you do? You recruit James Hartline. As if the guy doesn't have anything better to do. Well, you know what? You gave him some excitement in his life. So, you know what? You tried to have Backstreet Boys, not even just Nick Carter, boycotted from iHeartRadio and any, any venue, concert series that would have had him. You just didn't want them to get any work. But then what happens? They come out with a new single and a new video. I saw the video twice. I heard the video about three or four times. I was like, oh, wow, they still look good. Like, I, w I was like, well, you didn't, you know, you didn't stop them because they're all over the place now. And now he's got a smile on his face. What did you accomplish? Not much. Okay, so gets a little better. Brandon, let's get to Brandon. So everyone kept asking me these, these dancers and stuff like that. Uh, if I was going to do a, when, when are you coming out with a Brandon Henschel video? Like, and I was like actually preparing for it. I just wanted to make sure it would be really good. But then I was like, you know what? I understand the whole Brandon Henschel thing. I think I understand a little too much. Can you catch my drift? It's not hard to figure out what's going on in Brandon Henschel's mind. These guys that have worked with him with Aunt Brittany and... Well, he doesn't really have a very good reputation. And the only reason that I will even talk about that is because now you can Google stuff about that whole scenario and there's people talking about just google it and you'll pop up and these are dancers that went on to work with janet jackson and beyonce a lot of people didn't want nothing to do with him for a while 
but then he got the lip sync battle and he just worked from like some little I guess he was trying to get on Dancing with Stars. I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't watch any of that stuff. I don't watch TV. I don't watch Lip Sync Battle. I don't watch Dancing with the Stars. I watch the news and I watch Netflix. So, okay. So, Melissa, last week, no, I where was I? I think I was in Hong Kong when this happened. Melissa was caught tuning into Twitter's live feed of the Backstreet Boys, literally. Her picture pops up as she was tuning in live to watch Backstreet Boys at, I don't even know what it's called. Wango Tango, that's what it's called. They caught her watching the whole thing. And that was, whoa. As far as the His Side 2 girls were concerned, I mean, my inbox was blowing the hell up. And I was like, oh my God. So I reached out to Ms. Lauren, Mrs. Lauren Kit Carter. And I sent that screenshot and I said, Happy birthday to you. Enjoy your fabulous birthday. And she wrote back and she goes, it was the best birthday ever. <laughs> Gotta give it to that wife, man. She's slick. AF, slick. And, and coy about it. That's what I like. Like, she's not a raging psycho. She's not being catty like Melissa. Like, she's just... Just coy and just, she's like, I, I, from what I got from her, she's kind of like the way that I am with the karma Cupid. Like, your time is coming and I want nothing to do with it. I just want to see the outcome. That's, that's, what, that's what I get from her. Um, anyway, it gets a little crazy. I see yesterday, or I guess it was now that prompted me to do this video, Lip Sync Battle, Melissa Schumann's husband is a dancer for Lip Sync Battle, tweets in support of Backstreet Boys rehearsing and getting ready for the Country Music Awards. And I'm like, OMG. Like, if I was Brandon Henschel, I would be like, you've got to be kidding me. How embarrassing is that for him? Talk about defeated. Talk about embarrassing. Talk about humiliation. Like your own family, your livelihood is in support of your wife's so-called rapist. Okay, we get the story, Brandon. We know the story. We know the truth about Melissa. We know that Nick went to Melissa's house, kicked down her bedroom door while she was reading the Bible and was like, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. And raped her. And took her virginity. Ha! Virginity. Sure, Melissa, we know you were a virgin. God, I think you might have even lost your virginity before me. God. And I was like 20. Okay. Don't know why James Hartline would put himself out there for Melissa and Brandon. Now, I think that, and this is just me, I'm not speaking for the His Side 2 girls. And I think that James Hartline does think that anyone that tweets anything negative or says anything negative about Melissa is a part of His Side 2. His Side 2 consisted of 20 girls, exactly. And... Some of them were not on Twitter. They didn't even use Twitter. 
he has gotten the identity of me and I think the real identity of two others. The rest, he didn't. And we were fine with that. We were fine with him finding out. I mean, he had the fake addresses for me and things like that. And he wants to talk about cyberbullying and cyber terrorism and the FBI and blah, 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 blah. The truth is, is he's actually been caught at what they call doxing. Um, but I, I, the thing is, is like, you have to consider the source with James Hartline. Anyone who gets interested in something that James Hartline says about another person that he thinks that he's exposing, all they have to do is Google the name James Hartline and it's just like, um, okay, crazy, he's a whack job. So, I don't think that it should end there. I don't think that people should just write Hartline off as a whack job. Now, he believes that all the girls are from his side too. That's not actually true. A lot of these girls that go after him, like Jennifer Varnum and those weirdo girls, we don't talk to them. The girl, the people that are, I, do you really think that it's only eight to 10 girls that are on Twitter that hate Melissa Schumann? No. There's a lot more people out there, and we're not all connected. We're not all the same people, and we're not all his side, too. But there are some girls that put hashtag his side, too, in their profile. But it does not mean that they are a part of the 20 of, you know, the actual 20 that, you know, did all the dirty work. No, they're not cyber terrorists and things like that. Um, the guy is not stupid, never said he was. I'm sorry, like, I've told these girls to just lay off him, just lay off him. These girls, they never listen to me. And I tell him, he's not stupid. I'm sorry, but when he brought up me with the Russian thing and Oleg, when he brought up Oleg's name, I thought I was going to have a heart attack. I thought I was going to drop my phone, like, and fall over. How he would find that stuff about me is insane. And that's when I was like, all right, okay. Well, the guy's definitely a lot stupid. I'm going to give him props for that. I've told the girls to lay off you and just ignore you. They don't listen. So girls that are going after you, I do believe that there were a, quite a few His Side 2 girls that did stop for a long time. And they did get rid of their Twitters. I've not been on in, God, two and a half months, I think. And you know what? It's not that I was intimidated by anything with the James Hartline stuff. Guess what, James Hartline? You can retweet the whole thing with me saying, I hope Pot Fadi Fawaz gets pushed off a building. Guess what? I still feel that way. I still hate him. Uh, th that's not changing. I'm not afraid of that. You can put it on TV with my face and be like, oh, this is what she tweeted. I'd be like, yeah, I did. Anybody want to? Well, you guess what? President Trump got rid of ISIS, so... Better luck next time. Hopefully he'll just be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Somebody else will kick his ass. So, just wanted to say, Heartline, we're not all the same. I don't know why you would put yourself out there for these people. They obviously don't give a crap about you. And I know that you think that there's this loyalty and this bond that you have with Brandon but there is no loyalty. They don't like your tweets. They don't retweet your tweets. It looks like they're embarrassed of you. You've never shown us a photo of you with them. I don't get that. You wanna say that, you know, you. some girls think that they let you live in their house. And I said, no, 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 he said, stay with them. Maybe he came over for dinner. I go, but I don't believe that he meant that you lived there. I mean, you, we know about you, Heartline. We know where you live. We know We know the come in, you got the little kitchen right there. That space. We we we're like we've seen photos of the layout of your apartment. We're not stupid people, okay? So we I mean we, we know where you live and we know the layout of it. And we know where you eat. We know where you go. It's not a big deal. Like, we don't care that much about you. We care 
about what this girl did to this kid. She willingly knew what she was doing and she thought she was cute. And because I believe that James Hartline, and even if he's watching, that you are an intelligent person deep down, if I had to bet on it, I would say that you don't believe Melissa's story either. I think you're a little bit, I think that it would, you would be insulting your own intelligence if you were to say, I totally believe it. I don't think that you really believe it. I think that you put yourself in a spot and you are giving them loyalty. And I think that you're going to regret that loyalty. I think that we, well, we think that something did happen a couple months ago between you and Brandon that may just bump heads. And I believe that the Henschels fear you. And that's why they made up with you. It's not hard to figure these things out, Heartline. I don't, I don't consider you an enemy. I think that you are, heart, I, I think that James Heartline is a lonely guy. I think that he tries to mean well with his extreme opinions, but it's just not there. I don't think that the friendship, loyalty, and respect is sincere with the Henschels. Let me tell you something. Probably the best compliment I'll ever give Brandon and Melissa, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart. After everything that I know about Melissa Schumann and Brandon Henschel, I'm going to actually say that they are most certainly a match made in heaven because they are absolutely perfect for each other. They deserve each other. Enjoy that marriage and God bless that kid of yours.